Hands up, who likes beachy coastal decor? Well, have I got a video for you. Well, I'll actually have several videos because I'll have to break this up because I've got some big plans for all this crap here. So I've been given this beachy coastal type decor that is looking quite dated and quite worn and just pretty grotty, to be honest. And I've been asked to give it a bit of an update for a cafe. So I thought I would make a few videos out of it since this is not normally the stuff that I would have on my channel because I'm not really into the beachy coastal decor. But for you guys that are, I thought, yeah, why not make some videos? So I've got a whole heap of stuff. I've got a whole heap of ideas for all this stuff to give it a bit more of a modern feel a bit more of a an update so yeah let's get the first three pieces started all right so with all of this decor we're going to go with a very neutral color palette i just think it looks a lot fresher and crisper and a little bit more modern with a more neutral tone to it all so what i did before i started painting any of it it was very greasy and very grimy and very dirty so i've washed every single piece in some just your regular dishwashing detergent in a big bowl with some soap and water and just got all that dirt grease and grime off everything first and um, let that dry and then once it dry I am now going in and painting pretty much I'm painting everything with white chalk paint first uh, so that's going to be the base of all of the projects so hopefully if you like the neutral look to your decor this will suit you guys really well I'm just using regular chalk paint this is my homemade chalk paint which I just make using a little bit of plaster of Paris and some regular wall paint uh, you can buy the real stuff it doesn't really matter but this is just a cheaper option for me uh, just because I use so much of it in pretty much every single project. Now, I think I did end up doing maybe about two or three coats on this boat before it was fully covered to how I liked it. So, yeah, just let each layer dry in between and then put another coat on. Okay, so once your boat is fully covered with chalk paint and all dry, what I'm going to do now is just go in and cover a couple of the sails with some burlap just to give it a little bit of texture, a little bit of colour. And yeah, there's no really trick to doing this. I just kind of measured the <laughs> the burlap against the sail and cut it cut it out to size and then just sort of frayed those edges a little bit on the burlap. Uh, I'm just sticking this on with some regular PVA glue. Right, so for the bottom of the ship, what I'm just using here is a bit of like bandage gauze that uh, I think it came off like a triangular bandage and I'm just sticking that to the bottom just to give it a little bit of a whimsy sort of feel and give it a little bit of texture and just to add a little bit of interest to the way it looks. So I'm just like taking little pieces and using my PVA glue to stick those down and being sure to keep it a little bit wrinkly and you know a bit frayed looking and I did that for the entire bottom of the boat. So here's our first project finished. I really love the way this uh, turned out. I think it's really brought it into a much more modern look and a modern vibe to it. I also just distressed the bottom stand a little bit as well uh, just to give it a bit more of a rustic vibe. Here are a few close-up shots of um of the the boat and all the little details so here's a little side by side comparison which one do you like the best well let's get on to the next project all right so for our next project we've got a few little starfish ornaments that we are going to again paint with some white chalk paint and I probably do about two or three coats on these to get them fully covered and get all that dark blue uh, not showing through so that they're nice and white. And we're going to put these in some photo frames. Mm -hmm. 
So here are the photo frames we're going to use. These are just some uh, ones that I've had in my collection. And again, I'm going to give them a coat of white chalk paint. <laughs> surprise, surprise. All right, so once the frames are dry, I'm now just going in with a bit of sandpaper and just distressing them. Um, just to make them look a little bit more rustic, if that's your vibe. So what I'm going to do now is just cut some burlap up to go in the back of the frame. So I'm just trimming them to the size that I need for the backing. And I don't think I glued these in. I think I just placed them in. You can glue them if you don't feel like they're going to stay. But I think these were a pretty tight fit. So I think they stayed quite all right. And there's nothing going to be hanging off them. So um, this was quite all right. So, yeah, we're just going to put the burlap in. Um, and then we're going to decorate with our starfish. So I did want to distress the starfish as well, just to give them a little bit of definition. Um, I thought they were looking a little bit flat, just all plain white. So I mainly just went along the, um, like the edges where, where it would normally wear. And yeah, this just gave it a little bit more interest. So to finish them off, all I'm doing now is just gluing a couple of those starfish onto the frame itself. Uh, I was just working out the pattern that I wanted and how I wanted them to sit and just using some regular PVA glue, just glued them down and that is pretty much it for this project. <laughs> So here they are all finished. Uh, this was a super, super easy one, guys. Anyone could do this one. And yeah, I just think they're just a nice little, very understated, neutral coastal decor. They'd be perfect to add to any bathroom or like in this case, they're going in, inside like a little takeaway shop. All right, so on to our next project, the ship's wheel. Okay, so again, after giving this ship's wheel a good wash, um, we are now going to give it a couple of coats of white chalk paint to start with. All right, so what we're going to do with the ship's wheel is we're going to do a like a distressed weathered paint look over it using some different colored paints. Now, I've done this technique on some of the tables for that same cafe. We gave a lot of the tables a bit of a makeover and uh, used this same technique on those tables. So this is gonna tie in quite nicely with those once it's all up. So what I'm doing first is going in with like a beigey colored uh, paint and just dry brushing that over over the middle part of the wheel and the flat part where the handles sort of stick onto. So just those few areas we're going to go over it with this beigey coloured paint first and then we're going to go over it again like with a dry brushing technique so putting a very small amount of paint on your brush dabbing most of it off so that your paintbrush is pretty dry and then just lightly brushing it so you just pick up those tiny little strokes of paint going over your um, piece. So here now I'm going in with the darker coloured paint 
And again, using a very, very small amount, dabbing most of it off, and then just feathering it on to create those light paint marks over the wheel. And I'm leaving the rest of the wheel white. So those parts where I have sort of painted over, I will go over again with some white chalk paint just to finish those up. But yeah, so this, this is the technique we're using on this wheel. All right, so I've touched up all the white bits that had a bit of paint overflow on them and finished up all the distressing paint. And now we're just going to wrap some um, jute twine around four sides of this wheel. So the two opposite and yeah, the other two that I'm doing now. Okay, so here's the finished wheel. I really, really like the way this turned out. I love this paint technique. It just screams coastal to me. And um, yeah, I will do a video on the tables as well. Um, eventually that's coming up. So this is the ship's wheel all finished now. And that will be going on the wall inside the cafe takeaway shop. Okay, guys, so that's it for these coastal decor projects, the first of the first three of a few that I will have coming out on my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video shortly. Thanks for watching.